In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a caracal cat. Caracals are medium-sized wild cats native to Africa and Southwest Asia. They're admired for their distinct facial markings, reddish tan coats, long legs, and large black tuft ears. They have a distinct look and they look really cool, but should you bring a caracal into your family? It's probably a bad idea and in this video we'll tell you seven reasons why. The first reason you should not get a caracal is because they have strong hunting instincts. This is a wild animal that's an opportunistic hunter. They are better off living in their natural habitat because they love to roam, run, jump, and hunt a wide variety of prey. So if you bring them inside their house, they're going to constantly be looking for prey. And guess what? They're really not going to find anything. They're going to be knocking things over. They're going to be jumping up on furniture. They're going to be looking very hard for prey all day, every day. And if you can't provide this for them, which you won't be able to inside your house, then they get destructive, start scratching, clawing, tearing into things. And it just won't be a good deal inside your home because of their strong hunting instincts, this cat won't do good as a family pet. The number two reason why you should not get a caracal is because they are difficult to train. This is a stubborn, hard-headed cat that's independent by nature, and they just don't do well being trained. This is a wild animal that's used to being out, roaming, doing its own thing. So if you bring it inside the home, try to train it, it's probably not going to go well. A caracal cat inside the home would need to be trained constantly. You would need to have many repetitions to make sure that this cat knows where to go to the bathroom, where to eat, and stays in line with the family. It would be incredibly difficult and something that we just don't recommend. The number three reason why you should not get a caracal is because they are incredibly curious. When you're a cat that's used to looking and hunting for your own prey, you're always curious. You're always on the lookout. So if you bring this cat inside your home, you could have some big problems because they're always going to be looking for what is there to eat. They're going to be knocking things over, going in places they shouldn't, going outside, sneaking outside. And once they get outside, they'll bring you a lot of different treats because these guys know how to kill. So it'll be up to you as the owner to make sure that you keep this cat inside at all times. Never let them out and know where they are at all times because they're incredibly curious. They're always gonna be on the lookout for prey, which means they'll be outside adventurous and it'll be a big problem for you and your family. The number four reason why a caracal cat may not be best for you is because they are big and strong. A typical house cat weighs anywhere from eight to 10 pounds. But a caracal can be 16 to 40 pounds as a male or 15 to 30 pounds as a female. This is a big cat. They get big, strong, and they can be really destructive inside the home because of their size. It's nothing for this cat to jump up on the couch, jump up on high places. They're big and strong and athletic, and they'll tear up your house if you don't give them enough mental and physical stimulation. So it'll be up to you as the owner to always be working with this cat Always give them an outlet for their energy because they're so big and strong. The number five reason why a caracal cat may not be best for you is because of unprovoked attacks on humans. We keep saying it, this cat has incredible prey drive and they're looking to hunt. And so if you bring them inside your house, eventually they'll turn on you. There's no prey inside your house that they can actively go after. So unless you're working with this cat and always playing with them and fulfilling that prey drive, then eventually they'll look to you as prey. So this is an incredibly hard cat to domesticate and it's something you definitely need to be aware of if you get this cat. The number six reason a caracal cat may not be best for you is because of exotic pet laws. Exotic pet ownership varies by state. Like Nevada, some states in the US have no legal restrictions for exotic cat ownerships. Other states like Texas require a state permit for private possessions of a caracal. In Ohio, for example, only commercial exhibitors can own an exotic cat. So if you want to get this cat, make sure you check on your local laws to understand if you can even own this cat because it is an exotic animal that is supposed to be in the wild. But if your state allows it, you may be able to own it inside your home. The last reason a caracal cat may not be best for you is because simply they're hard to find. This is not a common cat. It's an exotic cat that can be big and strong, has a distinct look and is awesome, but they're just very difficult to find. You may have to go to a sanctuary, may have to look for a way to adopt this cat because it's something that's just not common. So if you get your heart set on this cat, know that it's very difficult, can be big, 
has strong prey drive, and at the end of the day, it's just really hard to find when there's millions of cats in shelters right now. So if you have your heart set on a cat, go to a shelter. There's one that they'll give you because there's so many and it's an easy to get, easy process, and it's one we recommend. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Caracal Cat, and we'll see you on the next one.